Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these truth about videos. Where have I been? What have I been up to? I can tell you. This video comes per request of 1 million fucking people because everyone and their mother has been asking me for this video, which I'm so grateful for. Don't get me wrong. I love, 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 love to see it. But I think it's when people get threatening about my truth about videos where I'm like, okay, bitch, calm down. It's just a skincare video. Relax. Relax. Okay, that was creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about Simple Skincare because this is a brand that, you know what? I had kind of a certain regard to them for a while. And then in doing research for this video and preparing by trying a bunch of their products, I kind of did like a 180. Did a full one. <laughs> okay, too much TikTok. <laughs> but yeah, my thoughts really changed a lot and I kind of want to share it with you guys because honestly, not only have you guys been requesting this video so much, which is awesome, but also because I'm really surprised by what I found and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So let's get into it. I'm first going to talk a little bit about the brand and then go through the products ingredient by ingredient because... Ingredients don't lie, bitch. And then at the end, tell you guys what my final thoughts of the brand are and whether or not I think it's worth it or not. I just said that twice. Whether I think it's worth it or not. There we go. Forgive me if I'm a little slow. It is midnight right now. So Simple Skincare is a brand that claims to be really focused on skincare solutions for sensitive skin. And I have to say, when they first started their brand, which they say is like 50 years ago, they were focused on providing products that are completely free of irritants, which is really impressive because that long ago, people were not thinking like, oh, I want to be really conscious about what ingredients are in my skincare products and what it's formulated with, blah, blah, blah. People are just more focused on results. So they were definitely ahead of the time. And I think they're definitely seeing that pay off now. Now they claim to be sensitive skin experts. And when I saw that, I was like, <laughs> Are you sure about that? Because when I first became familiar with Simple, I was not impressed with the products that I saw back then. And to be honest, I think they might have reformulated a lot of their products. I'm not 100% sure. But what I saw back then is not the same as what I'm seeing now. But the brand really has a heavy focus on natural ingredients, really safe, almost like that non-toxic clean type of vibe. Although they don't outright say it like a lot of brands do that I'm not a fan of, where they're like, we're toxin free. No chemical nasties. This is formulated for your aura. <laughs> like it's not that bad, but they definitely have a natural focus. And I find it a little bit contradictory because I feel like they're trying to tout two different labels, but then they use a lot of ingredients that are widely regarded within the clean beauty movement to not be clean whatsoever. But I'll talk about those later. Now the brand does claim to be cruelty free and it's not sold in China. However, they are owned by Unilever, which does test on animals. So if you consider that not cruelty free, there you go. Everyone has different standards when it comes to that. Now, honestly, the brand's backstory is very much like its name. It's very simple. So let's just get into the products, the ingredients and let you guys know what I Think. I'm going to be ordering these from my least favorite to my favorite, starting with their makeup wipes. <laughs> you may or may not be surprised. I don't know, but I feel like I talk about makeup wipes constantly. Me and Susan Yara, <laughs> she's the queen of saying no makeup wipes. And then I kind of followed suit afterwards when I started learning about how bad makeup wipes are, but they're just not great. They aren't good for the skin. They aren't good for the planet. And even though makeup wipes will say like they're biodegradable, they're still creating daily waste and it still takes a long time for biodegradable products to break down. So it's just better to use something like a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm instead that creates no waste. Now, of course, I'm not a fan of them because they are makeup wipes, but I do have to say Say, as compared to a lot of other makeup wipes in the industry, I think they're a little bit better because they're kind to skin. Makeup wipes are actually fragrance free. And looking at the ingredients, they aren't too, too stripping on the skin. Like they're definitely cleansing agents, but they aren't anything that's going to be really stripping like you can find in certain makeup wipes. That's also paired alongside a shit ton of fragrance, which just means it's going to irritate your skin like crazy. Thankfully they aren't. So in comparison to a lot of makeup wipes that are out there, I'm like, you know what? It's not terrible, but it's still makeup wipes. So I don't recommend. If you do use makeup wipes and you're like, what? Hiram, what am I supposed to use? I've been really liking the Vanilla Co Clean at Zero Cleansing Balm. This one is polyethylene free. It's formulated without plastic. It's really good for removing makeup and dirt and sunscreen off the face. It feels really nice. And honestly, in comparison to makeup wipes, when you start using this, it is just a whole nother experience. You will not know what hit you and you'll never go back. Oh, by the way, all the products that I'm talking about in this video and the alternative recommendations I make are listed in the description box below. If you guys do feel like purchasing any of them, I make a small commission that helps to support me and my channel and I really appreciate it. But as always, they're just just there for your convenience. If you want to use them, feel free to. If you don't want to, no biggie. Now Simple has a face scrub, which is very popular. <laughs> 
You know, I'm not even gonna get into it. You guys know at this point how much I don't like face scrubs. Like, while they may not be the worst thing on the planet for your skin, they're definitely not the best. And if there's one thing that I want to reiterate as much as possible about my channel, I want to recommend the best of the best product to you guys. I wanna be that friend that walks into a store with you and is like, okay, bitch, don't get that, get this, don't get that, get this, so that you guys have some direction. Because when I started skincare, I had no direction and everyone was telling me that everything was great, <laughs> which just doesn't really help when you're starting out. If you are someone who has been using a scrub and you're like, wait, I had no idea idea that scrubs can be not good for your skin. Girl, let me help you. Go to my skincare 101 series. I'll link it in the description box below. I have a whole video about how to exfoliate and the best exfoliants for your skin type and if you're just starting or experienced so that you can transition out of scrubs because honestly, there's just so many better alternatives out there. And by the way, if you are introducing this line to someone who is brand new to skincare, feel free to send them to my skincare 101 series because I made that with people in mind who are brand spanking new to skincare, who don't know anything about how to wash your face, how to moisturize. And I go through all the basics there. I'll link it down below. Next up is their Water Boost Hydrating Gel Cream. And I did try this one out for a while and I have thoughts. As far as good ingredients, it was formulated with glycerin as well as dimethicone, which is gonna be great for not only hydrating the skin, but also serving as a protective layer to make sure your moisturizer is doing what it's supposed to do, protecting your skin from losing water, as well as caprylic triglyceride. The thing I don't like about this product is that it says it has it with minerals and plant extracts. And honestly, upon looking at the ingredient list, I was like, Bitch where? I, I literally see maybe one, two at most, and they're arguably plant extracts, but not really. So I don't really know what they're getting at with that. But from an ingredient standpoint, I really like this product. I was like, oh, this is great. It's gonna be a lightweight moisturizer that serves the basic functionality of what a moisturizer should do and could work really well for people with sensitive skin. But my skin burned so bad every single time I tried to use this. And after the third attempt, I was like, you know what, I'm done. It's burning every time and that's not a good sign. Clearly my skin doesn't like it. And that's not to say it's a bad product because my skin is different from your guys' skin. And from an ingredient standpoint it's good but from my personal experience I just I don't know I wasn't impressed and I switched to using it as a hand cream instead so it worked out next up is their moisturizing facial wash now this one not to be mixed up with their micellar facial wash which unfortunately I've seen a lot of you guys tag me in your stories telling me that like I purchased the simple micellar gel wash and I'm like oh no that's the moisturizing one that's not the same one but this one is a cleanser that claims to be more focused on people with dry skin simple is a drugstore skincare brand that's really affordable and you can find the majority of drugstores at least here in the USA now I will say as I get into this video, if you are from Europe or Australia or Canada, I do not know if the ingredient lists are going to be the same. And for the UK specifically, I know that the ingredient lists are not the same. I was talking with James Walsh about it once because he messaged me and he was like, um, did you know they're not the same? I'm like, oh, what? But yeah, apparently the USA formulas are a lot better than the European ones, which go figure because European regulation is way stricter. Anyway, I'm getting on tension. What I'm saying in today's video only applies to the USA simple skincare. So don't be dragging me in the comments saying that I didn't read the ingredients correct because whenever I do that with a brand that's also in Europe, you guys drag me to filth and I'm like, girl, I'm going off the ingredients where I live. As for ingredients I like, this has allantoin and panthenol, both of which are really good moisturizing, hydrating ingredients. They're really good for softening and plumping the skin and serve a good purpose in a moisturizer. And this also has has bisabolol, which is a component of chamomile that's really good for reducing sensitivity and redness and irritation, and it's a great antioxidant. It's honestly a really good ingredient that I like to see in skincare products. But the funny thing about this cleanser is that the second ingredient is sodium laureth sulfate. Now, sodium laureth sulfate is kind of known in the industry for being potentially stripping to the skin. A lot of people don't like it, specifically within the clean beauty industry. I personally don't have a problem with sodium laureth sulfate per se, but I'm not very impressed when I see it because I'm like, wow, that's kind of like a very base level not impressive ingredient. There's a lot of other gentle surfactants and cleansing agents out there that you could be using instead. And I kind of just see it as a cheap cop out. But for people who do have really sensitive skin, sometimes that's the best ingredient for their skin. But typically I would only recommend a cleanser that has sodium lower sulfate to someone who has oily skin, not to someone who has dry skin. So I think it's kind of funny that they say this is a moisturizing facial wash when it's the most stripping out of their collection. Honestly, if you're even considering buying it, a much better alternative is the micellar gel wash, which I'll get into later. But overall, it's an okay cleanser. I don't think it's really that impressive. I wasn't super wowed by the formula, but it's all right. Next up is their Kind to Skin Micellar Water. This one is a mini that I got to use for a little while. <sighs> I like this one. From an ingredient perspective, super, super good. It has glycerin as the third ingredient, chamomile extract as the fourth ingredient, which is gonna reduce sensitivity. It's formulated with panthenol and niacinamide. Those ingredients are very high quality ingredients for a micellar water. And typically I don't find micellar waters that have ingredients that really wow me because in reality, they're only supposed to remove the makeup and dirt and sunscreen from your face. They're not really supposed to be any fancier than that. But if I do see a cleansing water that has really good ingredients, I'm like, hey bitch, <laughs> let me flag you down and buy you. It's fragrance free. 
It's very, very, very gentle. And honestly, when I tried putting a lot of makeup on my hand, it really didn't work very well, which is why I consider this to be a better micellar water if you wear sunscreen, but not like a full face of makeup. If you wear a full face of makeup, I honestly recommend like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, and then following up with a cleanser afterwards. But if you just wear sunscreen, I think this one's awesome. It's definitely one of the best micellar formulas that I've ever seen. And while some people say that it may not cleanse your skin enough, I personally think it will. And I also think it's a great cleansing water for anyone who has really, really sensitive skin. Now they have another cleansing water like this that's called the Water Boost Micellar Water. And the ingredient list is nearly identical, but it doesn't have the good ingredients like niacinamide and chamomile that this one does, which is honestly why I would just recommend going with the Kind to Skin Micellar Water over the Water Boost one. But still that one's not bad. It's very basic, it'll be effective. You just won't be getting the good benefits that this one has. Next, and this is the second to last product, the Simple Micellar Gel Wash. I talk about this one all the time and I have it on my shelf because I'm constantly reaching for it to make it as a recommendation for so many different moments on my channel. Now, the reason I like this one is not because it's fancy, not because it's the best cleanser in the world, not because it's anything crazy, but just because it's a good, simple cleanser that works for so many different skin types. As far as ingredients, it has standard cleansing agents as well as panthenol, so it's gonna hydrate the skin. Citric acid is a little high up on this ingredient list, but citric acid is primarily used as a preservative and to help regulate the pH and in the cleanser, I don't find it super problematic because you wanna make sure that your cleanser is not gonna be overly stripping. This is a product that I'm not necessarily drawn to because of the ingredient list, but because of the experience. The first time I used this, I was just like, wow, this is one of the best drugstore cleansers I've ever used because it just does what a cleanser is supposed to do. Gently cleanse your skin without overly stripping it, without leaving it super oily. The perfect balance of cleansing it just enough. And I've seen your guys' comments and your posts about this cleanser and so many of you guys like it. Whether you have crazy dry skin or crazy oily skin, this is just a cleanser that works for for so many different skin types and why I'm constantly reaching for it and recommending it to you guys because I want you guys to have access to products that work for the majority of skin types. It's super affordable and while it's not the most incredible cleanser in the world, I think it's a great one. And if you are looking for a good basic cleanser, I highly recommend checking it out. And then we reach the last product, which is surprisingly not the cleanser. It is actually their Simple Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. Now I will admit I did not purchase this product because it's primarily for dry skin. I have oily skin. And for some reason, I thought it had different ingredients before, but after looking through the ingredient list again in preparation for this video, I was like, oh my gosh, how did I miss this? But for ingredients, it has caprylic triglyceride, which is a great ingredient to serve as a moisturizing agent. It has glycerin, panthenol, allantoin, bisabolol, and urea, which is great for its minimal exfoliation effects and anti-aging abilities. It's a good hydrating fragrance-free formula that I honestly was so impressed to see because this was a product as opposed to their other products where I'm like, okay, they're good. You know, they're not bad. This was one where I was like, oh wow, I'd actually go out of my way to purchase this one if I did have really dry skin. But I didn't want to use it because in reality, the ingredients are what matter on this channel. I don't want to create all this excess waste if I'm not even going to be using it. But from a formula standpoint, definitely the best product that they have. I was really impressed. Now you might be thinking, wow, Hiram, that was really fast. That was really simple. <laughs> That's the best I got for puns. And I have to agree, upon doing the research for the video, I was honestly bracing myself to find some really horrible skincare products with terrible ingredients. But on the contrary, all the ones I found were fragrance free and free of a lot of irritating ingredients. And I could have sworn, maybe it's just the Mandela effect, but when I first learned about simple skincare, I was looking through their ingredient list and they formulated with fragrance. I could swear to God that they did. And now I'm finding that they don't. Am I just crazy? Did you guys see this too? If you remember simple having fragrance, let me know in the comment section down below because I could have sworn, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I was just totally off every time I went to try and buy their products at the drugstore. Who knows? Here are my final thoughts. As far as the overall products in the brand, I really like that they have a very simplistic and minimalistic approach to skincare. I say this all the time on my channel, but you do not need a complex, fancy, expensive, and extensive skincare routine to have good skin. And I think the best skincare routines are very simple in essence. They don't have anything flashy. They don't have anything fancy. It's just very clearly stated, simple skincare. They have an extremely low price point, which I honestly love to see because it means that more people are gonna have access to skincare. And in terms of what products you can find at a drugstore that I think are great to start on. I think Simple is a great brand to start using. It's an easy one to trust that they're not gonna have a lot of irritating formulas, but just get the basics down. So if you, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, your siblings, your parents are looking to start a skincare routine and they don't know where to begin, this is definitely a good brand to start with. I of course love that they are free of fragrance and irritants. That is something that annoys me about so many brands in my brand review videos. 
is. And I was really encouraged to see that Simple does not formulate with any fragrance, at least in the products that I found. And overall, their formulas seem to be really non-sensitizing. But I'd say the downsides for the brand is that I almost consider it to be a little bit too simple. Like when it comes to skincare, I definitely want products that, you know, serve a purpose, aren't anything excessive or over the top. But I like to see when brands take some initiative to be really innovative, find all these incredible natural extracts and new ingredients and really innovative formulas. And I feel like Simple does not have innovative formulas, but at the same time, I do feel like they're filling a gap in the industry where when a lot of people go to the drugstore and they aren't able to find good formulas that aren't going to irritate their skin, they're able to find Simple, which is going to be very basic, but good for the skin. And because of that, I would have to say my approach to the brand is more neutral. Like I think they're good, but I wouldn't really go out of my way to buy them beyond the Simple Micellar Gel Wash. And even then I'm like, it's a good cleanser, but am I going to be like clawing my way to the store to get it? No. And that's exactly why I think it's a great brand to start with if you're a teenager or if you're just starting into skincare. Simple is an awesome one to rely on because you'll be able to work your way to getting into that routine before you can start branching off and finding some really cool formulas that are available out there from other brands. So yeah, sorry if I bored you, <laughs> but at least you guys now know what my thoughts are on Simple, so you have to stop asking, stop worrying, because I got you covered. The day was finally here. What do you guys think of Simple? Do you like the brand? Do you not like the brand? Have you had a good experience with some of their products? Have you not? Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.